Hi, I'm Dr. Sally Primus. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist with Hometown Ophthalmology and the Dry Eye Center of Evansville. This video is a part of a series where I go through many of the common dry eye treatments and I talk about how they work, how to use them. I'll even try some of them out right in front of you. I'll talk about whether or not you can get them on your own or if you need a prescription, whether insurance might cover it or not. And I'm happy to answer any questions. And if you want to learn more, you can check out our website at either hometownophthalmology.com or dryeyeevansville.com. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the prescription dry eye medications that we often prescribe to patients here. Uh, Zydra is one of them. Restasis is another. And the third one, I'm not going to try out in front of you, but we also prescribe this, is called Sequa. It is the same medication as, I, or as the Restasis, uh, but in a slightly different formulation. I, I like all of these. I think one might work better for one patient and another works better for another patient, so I'm not afraid to try, try different ones. Um, sometimes which ones we put you on actually depends on your insurance. Some insurances have one preferred over the other. They work in similar ways. The goal is to decrease inflammation. Um, in patients that have like autoimmune disorders, thyroid disorders, they often have a underlying inflammation that is causing the dry eyes. And other patients, just chronic dry eye kicks up inflammation. That inflammation makes the dry eye worse and it's a vicious cycle. So we will sometimes use these medications to break that cycle. Um, it can help a little bit with inflammation in the eyelids. So when some people have inflammation in the eyelids causing their oil glands not to work, this might offer a little bit of help as a supplement to other treatments. So first I'm going to talk about Restasis. This is the, of all these medications, this one came out first. Um, it comes in either a bottle or a little vial like that. Uh, both the bottle and the vial are preservative free, uh, which when you have severe dry eye, you want to avoid preservatives if you can. Zydra also comes in a vial and it's also preservative free. If I were to compare the two, uh, Restasis is a little bit milkier of a drop, Zydra is a little bit clearer, and when I look at how much medication they give you in the vial, you do get a little bit more with the Restasis. Um, so I'm going to try both. I'm going to try one in one eye, one in the other. This is the first time I'm putting it in my eye, so I'm going to give you my honest feedback of how it feels when it goes in. How it feels also depends on how dry your eyes are. So I have mild dry eyes, not super severe. So the more severe your dry eye is, the more a drop is going to burn when you put it in. Um, but I'm just going to compare the two. I have been told that the Restasis burns more. I have been told that the Zyder burns less, but kind of has a funky taste because it drains down your drainage system into the back of your throat. Um, so I'll give you feedback on that as well. So with the Restasis, I'm just going to pop the little cap off. My style of doing a drop, I just like to pull down my lower eyelid and squeeze. And I blink a few times. Anything that overflows is extra. You don't need to try to force it back in the eye. Just going to take a tissue and dab. Doesn't really feel like anything. Doesn't seem to burn too much. Maybe a little stinging starting now, but nothing that's intolerable. And then Zydra. Pop the little tab. Look up. Blink a few times. That one actually burns a little more than the Restasis, but again, nothing, nothing bad. If I have dry eye that's bad enough, I want a prescription. Um, both eyes are pretty comfortable. So when patients say that this burns, I usually say tough it out for a while until the dry eye starts getting better because um, then it might not burn so much. So right now, I'm not really tasting anything and they don't burn too bad. So I don't think they're too bad either one. Um, some feedback is the Restasis. It was easy to put the little cap back on if I wanted to save this vial for my nighttime dose. The Zydra does not go back on, so I would have to find some sort of little medicine cup or something to stick it in so that it doesn't fall over. Um, most people will use the same vial in the morning and in the evening, but these are preservative free. So if that vial is over 24 hours old, you really should throw it away because the bacteria starts growing. Um, all of these, like I said, are prescription. In my experience, Restasis typically takes about two months to know if it's going to work. Zydra is usually about six weeks. So I tend to get an effect sooner with Zydra, but I feel like the long-term result, what I've seen with my patients, is about the same. Sequa is newer. 
Um, supposedly it burns less than Restasis, so I'm willing to try any of them based off of my individual discussions with the patient. They are brand name. Restasis did just come out with a generic, and right now that generic is not particularly cost saving, but the hopes are in the future that it might. Um, there And there are even compounding pharmacies that can make something similar to Restasis for people who have no good health insurance benefits. Um, and for people who are on commercial insurances, so not Medicare, not Medicaid, um, we do have savings cards to help bring down the cost. And Medicare does cover some of these products, so it's always worth a try. Um, and I usually like to start people on samples to see if it's gonna work before we mess with anything insurance-wise. Uh, but all of these have been around a long time. They're prescription, so they are FDA approved, which means they had to prove that they work and they had to prove that they're safe. So I'm comfortable with all of these medications and happy to discuss them if you have any questions. Thanks.